state laws they don't allow a lot of out-of-state beers to come in you know based on what the limits are so instead of trying to bring more in we'll try to create something here that people can enjoy we're huge Mississippi supporters we're huge Jackson supporters and at the same time we love craft beer you know we, we go off of it all the time we want to make stuff that no one's ever had before we want to give the people of Mississippi something that they'll enjoy and drink and want to support so that they can say this was made in Mississippi. This beer that can take anybody on in the world is made right here in our home. Beer is something I've always been in, a part of my life. You know, growing up in Milwaukee, it was the Milwaukee Brewers, and you'd go to Miller Park, and and so coming down here, it was it kind of surprised me the lack of the craft beer selection. Uh, opening a brewery just seemed like the natural thing to do to bring craft beer down to Mississippi. Mississippi only has one brewery and one brew pub, so whereas. There's tons of people wanting craft beer. You don't have a lot of people supplying craft beer. So we're here to start filling that void because it's what we love to do. Creating beer is, is no different than you know creating a piece of artwork. Beer is an art form just like you know music or painting or you know, being a chef. You know, it's just a different medium. Lucky Town has four incredible offerings of beer that we've been developing. I'm a stout guy. I know a lot of my friends are stout guys. So, you know, our original stout. beer was just an idea one day. You know, we actually thought of putting maple in a beer. Then, of course, maple, I was thinking maple and brown sugar. It kind of goes together. And then we thought, well, everybody thinks maple and brown sugar. What do they think of oatmeal? Well, an oatmeal stout. And it kind of sounds weird, but like, we can make this work. So we combine that, and it makes this very easy drinking stout. It's got a little sweetness to it. We've had people come up that hate dark beer. You know, they've tried a you know, Guinness or something and just didn't like it a bit. Try it and just love it. And it opened their world up just a little bit. You know, we started thinking on top of that, well, how do we keep going from there? We can't just have a stout. So we, we came up and started formulating what we have what we call our lizard tail pale ale. Where it might be a little more bitter than most people like, it still has those fruity notes and it. it tends to be probably our most popular beer right now. We went straight after a Belgian blonde style beer. We, we changed it up, we made it a little hoppier than most Belgian blondes would be, but it's got some banana notes into it. It's a little fruity, very easy drinking beer. We were trying to build upon that. Of course, the one thing we're missing, the craft beer has to have an IPA. Well, the Lucky Town Hop Fiasco, it doesn't kick you in the face. It's continuously hop, so you don't get too much bitterness, but you still get so much hop aroma, you, you, you can't turn away from it. It's a great beer. We've had retailers, you know, just asking us, you know, ever since we contacted them, you know, they're saying, you know, we'd love to have you on tap, and, you know, and they're contacting us instead of us contacting them saying, you know, we want to get you on tap now. You know, there's people that want a local beer. It's really exciting. We already had customers coming in and asking us for it. Uh, when's it coming out? You know, have you heard about Lucky Town? So it, it's it's really exciting time. I think they've got a lot of momentum already going. Really? <laughs> Um, to have something like a Lucky Town uh, in Jackson would be huge. Uh, you have a lot of guests that would love to support it. Uh, people are asking it by name, uh, by flavor profile. I mean, we want to take you know the place that we love and grew up here in Jackson, uh, Mississippi as a whole, and have a place where you know people would be proud to say that you know Lucky Town beer is competing everywhere, but they can get it here and it's from here. It's something they can hold, they love, and it's, it's another part of what Mississippi has brought to the world. We intend to make beer that not only Mississippians will enjoy and love and grab as their own, uh, but at Lucky Town we also want to make beers that will go to Great American Beer Fest and compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody else. We want people in California to drink our pale ale while it's sitting next there to a Sierra Nevada top. Well, you know, we want to have our beer everywhere. Mississippi is our starting point, is our home, it's our prime market, but we want to quickly expand to the southeast and to the rest of the country. So the demand is there, and we've assembled a team of very skilled, very knowledgeable, and very driven people to bring craft beer to not only Mississippi, but the Southeast and the rest of the country. 
You know, we want to change the ideas of down here in the South that you get this warm, fuzzy, yellow stuff in a cardboard box. You know, we're not here just to cater to the craft beer community. We want to have beers that they love and will behold, but we want to also challenge everybody else just to be bold and rediscover beer. Mm -hmm.